Today, we're gonna add a little something special to our projects by going over different ways to add some gold to it. Stay tuned. <music> Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to Skill Tree, where we learn how to do just about everything. All right, so today is going to be a slightly different kind of episode. I know fairly recently I did like a knife sheaf build along, I'll put it up here, in which it was very lightly edited and you got to actually like watch me work almost in real time. Very like stream of consciousness almost. This is gonna be like that because to be honest, I got like some work stuff dropped on me and I have to be on a plane in like three hours. I'm not even packed. But I didn't wanna leave you with nothing. So my idea for today's episode is something I've been playing with for a little bit anyways and that's going over a few different ways to like I guess it would be called gilding something you know adding gold leaf to it or like gold accents doesn't have to be gold can be metallic whatever but yeah I'm gonna be going over a few different ways that I've learned to do this because I, I just kind of want to try them and I thought this might be kind of a fun almost ASMR build along with me so grab a drink or grab whatever project you're working on and just like hang out with me while we do stuff all right so let's just kind of jump right into it the first one I'm gonna play with is one that I have done before but I've never done it well I think and that is adding gold leaf to things now, if you've never seen it before, gold leaf is just what it sounds like. It's little, like, little leaflets, super, super thin kind of sheets of gold. It doesn't just come in gold. They have it in silver. I think they have kind of a, a coppery color or a platinum. But anyway, it's just these really thin foil sheets. The way it works is you put an adhesive down, and then you, you smooth the sheet over the adhesive once it's had some time to tack up. And then you use a brush and you brush away all the excess stuff and the, the gold that's stuck on the adhesive looks really cool, looks clean. So to try this out, I actually laser engraved this patch here. Let me show you in this camera. All right, there. This is one of the tests I'm doing. I'm actually working on making you all more merch and I'm trying to see if I can do it using some of the scrap leather that I have because they're still really good pieces of leather. Like I have pieces of scrap like this that would be perfect for making stuff like this. So yeah, if you're into stuff like this, let me know, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll start making more. But anyways, because this is leather, first thing I did is I had to put a mask over the top of it. So there's like still tape in here. So first, let me just go ahead and I'm going to remove this mask just from the, the big U that's on here. Cause that's the only part I really want to leaf for now let's go ahead and peel that away whoop like so perfect so now we've got just just the u here all right and that's the bit we are going to gold leaf so gold leaf has a specific little little adhesive here though i don't think you absolutely have to use this adhesive and that's one of the things i want to try next i want to try using a different kind of maybe a spray on adhesive or something but for now we're going to use this one on here and we're going to brush it onto just the u only where we want the metal to stick to okay i got myself a little paintbrush here and i also got a piece of uh, scrap paper to put the glue on this scrap by the way is from when i was making the um what's that wooden tome like the wooden notebook uh, and I had a bunch of just little strips of paper left over, but they've been super useful for everything for like taking notes or for this, for using to kind of just put paints on or whatever. Um, I love saving stuff like that and making full use of it. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm just applying the glue right where I want it. And because there's still a little bit of my mask left on to this patch, I'm all right if I get it in some of the spots um, that I don't want it on necessarily. It's part of the nice part of having it masked out like that is it gives me a little bit more leeway. But of course, if you don't have that kind of leeway or you didn't mask the thing, I don't expect that everybody has a, a laser engraver and is gonna be in the same situation here. Um, but honestly, the first, the first ones I did for like gold leafing like this, I think was on my D&D book, uh, book cover ones that I was doing. And I think it was for the, was it for the cleric? You can check it out here, I'll put it up there. Uh, but I know I did some gold leafing for that or for whichever one it was. I'll put whichever one is the right one up there, how's that? Uh, but 
And we're just gonna add all this glue here. Do, 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 do. Right where I want it. It's a little hard. I wish they would make the glue almost like a different color. It'd be cool if it went on um, like a purple or something and then dried clear so that you can make sure you can see everywhere that you put it or more to the point where you forgot to put it. But the nice thing with gold leaf is it does lay down pretty flat. So even if you need to go back over and fill in little spots that you missed, um, it it lays over itself pretty well and it looks, it still looks good. It doesn't look like you're layering it up crazy amounts. Let's go ahead and add, do, do, do. Okay. So with that, we've pretty much covered all of it. And now we've got to give it a little bit of time to become tacky. Uh, let's remove some there. Okay. Though, since it is so thin, I think I can just kind of give it one of these things here and speed up that process. I think I also have a hair dryer down here. I used way more glue than I needed, but let's see. Let me plug in the ye olde hair dryer and get this going. Okay. That actually worked pretty well. At this point, you can feel it. It's just tacky, but it's not wet at all, all right? So I think we'll be okay to add on our gold leaf here. Famous last words, right? I think it'll be fine. Go ahead and... So this leaf is pretty delicate. So I just wanna take it and I'm gonna lay it directly on top of our piece, like so. And then there's a brush that comes along with these kits here uh, that help us push it in. I don't think you, you have to have this brush, but it is specifically sold as being part of this process here. So I'm just gonna go with what the people who know what the heck they're doing say supposed to be in here. But yeah, we're just tamping it down, making sure it connects with that glue well. And then once we're sure it is connected well, we just start brushing away. Let's see, so you can see this here. We can, we can just remove this, all the big stuff first. Okay, so remove all of that. So we're left with this here. Okay, you see that right there? Shoop, right there. And now we're just gonna start brushing the excess away. And if we did our job right, all that will be left is where we added our glue to. Okay, with that, I think, I think that came out really slick. Let me bring it to the camera here so you can see what, what's going on. Check that out, that looks really good, right? Here, let me peel off the rest of the tape so you can just see it like in context because everything else is just kind of muddy brown. You know, this masking tape is harder to remove on these small areas than I would have given it credit for. All right, but I think that's good enough to show you. Like, check, check that out. You can see it in my little upper camera here. And I'll show it to you on this one. I think this one will be better. Look at how cool that is. It'd be nice to find faster ways to do that. Cause again, I'd like to, I'd like to do something like this for merch for you guys, but that's a bit of a process there. Though I know you can get like a, a heat stamp that you can use. So I might invest in that though. I did get some of that stuff today. We are going to go, go over a little bit of that heat stamping, but I don't actually have a heat stamp. I have a little pen thing. We're going to try it. I haven't tried it before, but that'll be cool. But anyways, that is our first way of trying it. And that worked out way better than I've done before. I'm super happy with that.
So for me, the key is definitely being patient. Uh, when I've done it in the past, I put the glue on and I haven't waited until it got tacky. I think I put the, the, um, the leaf on while it was still a little bit wet and then it just becomes almost like wet toilet paper. It like clumps up and falls apart. It's not awesome. But I did want to try something else along the lines with this, right? So I, I read somewhere that it doesn't have to be this stuff. As long as you have an adhesive that's good enough, you should be able to get away with, with just about anything. So I really want to try, give me a second, some Super 77 here. Uh, this stuff, if you've never used it before, it is a fantastic spray on adhesive. Um, it, it dries really quick and clear and it holds super duper strong. But of course, we can't just like, like target it for just the U on here, right? That would, that would be really, really hard. So I went ahead and I made a stencil. I made it with my Cricut cutter um, and, and you can check it out here. It's another one of the designs that we use for merch. Actually, this and this are both our merch designs. But my thought is that I can take this, put this on a piece of leather or whatever, I can hit it with my Super 77, and then once that tacks up, which just takes a couple of minutes to do, I can then put the gold leaf on it, remove the, uh, the, the template from there, and then all that's left over should be the gold leaf. Should be. We're rocking, we're rocking an unknown here right now. Now this is a, a removable stick on vinyl. If you have just a regular uh, template, I imagine that would work well, but like you have to make sure it has really good positive contact so none of the spray gets underneath it. Otherwise, I imagine you could still use the same glue, just put it on maybe a sponge and sponge into it. That would totally work here. That would work for this, absolutely, but I just wanna try this out. If it works, that's cool. If it doesn't, we've learned something as well, right? But first, in order to get this onto, I have a piece of scrap leather right here. In order to get this onto here, I'm gonna need some transfer tape, okay? Because there's a lot of little fiddly things in here, like all of these are disconnected from the rest of it. So we need to be able to take it from, from here and put it onto the leather. So let's do that first. All right, and all this transfer tape is, is like a, a low tack clear tape um, that you can put over the top of your little stencils that you cut out there. And all of the, the free floating pieces will stick into place where they were supposed to land in, in relation to everything else. And then you can move it all together as a unit. So let's go ahead and stick this on as best we can. Nice, cool, all right. Make sure it's good and stuck on there. Cool, cool, cool. Now we should be able to turn it over and remove the backing from my little stencil here. And everything else should stay in theory Ooh, this part does not want to. Stay down. Ah. Need my ball here. Sometimes you need to hold it down. Any parts that don't stick, you just kind of rub in. And the adhesive backing should be stickier than the, the paper backing, which is meant to be letting go. And we should be able to slowly work it so that it all stays put. Almost there. All the little centers of the letters, like the, the round middle of the O and stuff does not want to stay put. There we go. All right. Check that out. Ah, huh? that was pretty good. You can see it in the, in the camera here. So now that is stuck to our little adhesive here and we should be able to just position it where we want it, which I'm not gonna be too precious about, but I actually, I'm gonna be a little careful because I think if this turns out good, 
I'm gonna hang this up. I think this will be a cool little little art piece. Though, and it looks like when it happened when I was weeding it, because I couldn't find it anywhere. But the little the little triangle in the center of the A here isn't there, which is gonna drive me a little crazy. But you know what? This is all part of an experiment. We can't be too precious about it. Okay, so now that this is stuck onto the leather, I'm gonna remove this bit, and it's gonna be the same deal where we wanna make sure everything stays stuck. But it actually looks like it's doing a pretty damn good job. What? That looked perfect. Check that out. All right, that, that did exactly what I needed it to do. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now, because I am gonna be spraying adhesive, one, I need to protect my table, but also I need to mask out the spots that I don't want adhesive to get on. So let me go get tape and let me get some like plastic for my table or like paper for my table or something. Give me one sec. Okay, I got a piece of cardboard, which I keep pieces of like boxes from Amazon or whatever for specifically for, for things like this. And now let's mask off the bits we do not want to get glue on. Whoa. It's a fresh roll. Gonna get it all undone here. There we go. Okay. 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 So let's see if this is gonna work. First, it's always good if you have a spray adhesive or whatever, just check to make sure the spray pattern, okay, it's nice and light. Sometimes you don't clean well enough the nozzle, it comes out like big spurty goops and we don't want that. I'm gonna go kind of far away. I don't want it to be crazy thick. Okay, I think I have good coverage. I think we're good. So now we're gonna give this just just a minute. Just so you know, I have I have a fan right over here. So although there is good fumes going on in here right now, not good fumes, there's fumes. Um, I do have some pretty good ventilation here. So I should be all right, but definitely be in a well-ventilated area when you're using any stuff like this. Now this, this stuff tacks up real, real fast. So I'm gonna give it just a few moments here. And then once that's all set, I guess while that happens, let me prepare my sheets this will probably take a couple of sheets because it's going to stick to everything at first right uh, it's going to stick to the everywhere there is glue which is just everywhere currently so i'll grab a couple of sheets and then i have a little bit of the scrap from from what i did before i mean kind of piecemeal it all into place it's another nice thing about gold leaf and silver leaf and all that is like all this stuff that would normally be like considered waste. Like you can use all of that stuff. Um, you just carefully put it, put it where you want it and you position it how you want it. I think we're ready to start laying this stuff down. Ooh. Well, I think it laid a little bit into where there is glue. So at least we know that'll work. All right, so I'm gonna boop. I'm gonna lay that right on top there. I'm gonna grab another one. Go boop on top there. And then I'm gonna grab, just for the, some of the spots that I missed, I'm gonna grab some of the scrap. I'm gonna lay that out as well. Awesome. Okay, now where's that little brush? Uh, ah, right next to me. All right, let's do it. Let's see how this works out. I've never, I've never done it like this before. It kind of worries me that everything's looking very uniform. Like I don't see, I don't see the lettering coming through yet. 
and I would expect to, right? Because it should be lower than the surface of the, the template I have on top of here, the stencil, I should say. But we will see. Let's get it nice and smoothed out. Get rid of any excess on here. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put some over here too so that I don't have sticky stuff all over the place. Okay, I actually, when I push down on it like this, I do start to see, I do start to see the lettering. I think this might actually work. I think you gotta be a little bit more aggressive than the brush is though. I think you have to actually kind of push it down. Cause that's the only way I, <laughs> I am seeing actually all the detail come through. So let me go ahead and do that a little bit. Really get it in there. Oh my God, I hope this works. That'd be so cool. Okay, I think that's probably, probably as good as we're gonna get. So, Mona Truth, let's try this out. Let's see if it actually works. Let me remove my mask here first. Okay. All right. Now, let's remove all the black. Carefully. Let's see if stuff stays behind. Oh. All right. It's, it might be working guys. Oh, let's look. Got a lot to peel away here. For demonstration purposes, I'm wishing I went with a simpler design. <laughs> well, I guess it matches with what the thing says. Everything worth doing is worth overdoing. We're on brand. How's that? Oh, snap. Look at that. We're getting some pretty sweet detail here, guys. I'm wondering, though, for some of it, a little bit of it looks like it wants to lift along. I'm wondering if we leave it just a bit longer than I am right now, if it will preserve detail better because the glue will have more time to harden. Let's see. I'm gonna keep going, but it's something to think about. There's definitely some bits though. Like the much finer detail, there are these little lines uh, in here and those look like they wanna lift on me. Man, some of this detail is looking really, really good, though. I'm trying to make it so that we can see while I work here. Lifting up these letters is a little bit tricky because I don't want to damage the gold leaf as I do around it. I'm just kind of using it all. I'm sure if I had like tweezers and stuff, it'd be a little bit easier. I was definitely hoping it would all come off in one piece, which of course is silly because a lot of these pieces are disconnected. I don't know why I thought that would be a thing. Whoa. But, again, this isn't too, it's not hard. Like the, um, the, bam, check that out. That is, a resounding success. Hold on, I missed one spot right here. The H. One moment. The weeding is the only bit that takes some time here. But, I mean, even with that taking some time, like, the detail that I'm able to get by doing it this way rather than trying to paint it in, so much easier. Check that out, right? Oh, yeah, that's pretty great. Is it perfect? No, there's little bits, like, I think the, the T over here didn't come out right, a little bit of it is gone. Um, but two things, one, like 
that kind of adds a vintage look and I don't mind. But also, like I said, it's really easy to just go back in with your paintbrush, fill in those bits that you want with more adhesive, and then just stick some more glue onto it, or stick some more gold leaf onto it. So like super repairable, any of the small things that didn't make it, but even the smaller detail, like those lines that I was afraid wouldn't, wouldn't stick around up in here and stuff, um, like those, those totally came out there. These little kind of star graphics down here in the corner that are real small and fiddly that totally came out well. And this on like a darker background, like if I dyed this leather first, oh my God, that would look so sick with that contrast. I wish I did that before this. But that, I'm super happy with that. Okay, so we've learned how to kind of brush it on. We learned that we could totally spray it on as long as we have a, a stencil of some sort. I got a couple more things I want to try. And one of them is this, this stuff right here. If you want to check, check this out, this little bottle here. What it is, is it an embossing powder. So basically you're gonna use another glue. Um, you stick it onto whatever, you pour the embossing powder on it. And just like you're kind of making those old like uh, glue with glitter type of pictures when you were a kid, you're gonna stick this to the glue and then you're gonna hit it with a heat gun. All of this stuff, it actually melts and it makes kind of this raised emboss, whatever color it comes in like gold, silver, platinum, uh, I think copper, black, but that's a really, really cool look. So what I wanted to try, um, obviously I think you could do the same thing. I think you could totally make a stencil and then you add the glue to that to above the stencil, you add this stuff onto it and then you heat it up. But, so what I tried to make is I tried to learn how to make my own leather stamps, right? And I did this one out of acrylic um, with my laser engraver, though you could totally I want to say you'd be able to do this if you had the patience with a Dremel, but uh, for now I did it with my laser engraver. You can make a stamp too. Um, I did a video you can check out right here on how to make a rubber stamp, what you can carve it yourself. So this will totally work for the stamp. Uh, but let me just show you it actually, it's kind of neat. So what I did here is I, I made my, my channel symbol out of, uh, out of the acrylic and then I, I attached it to a, a piece of wood with a square cut out in the middle and there's a magnet inside of there. And I have, oh, let me show you. Oh, I have one of these bad boys. Um, and because there's a magnet on the end of it, it actually just boop, sticks right into there. So now I can press on my stamp onto the leather. That's why I had made this thing and it works really, really well. As evidenced by, oh, Again, all in an attempt to make you all stuff that I can send you. Let me show you what it comes out looking like. This is a little, a little keychain I've been working on. But the stamp worked really, really well. This one could be a little bit deeper, I think. But anyways, I digress. Let's say you have a stamp. Could be a rubber stamp, whatever. What I'm gonna do is I wanna try to stamp this into the glue that goes with this stuff, put it on a piece of leather, and then hit it with a heat gun. Let's see, uh, see how it works. Let me go grab a scrap piece. Only get the glue on the very surface of it. I think I just made it too messy and picked up too much glue. Okay, hopefully that works. Stick it right in the center here. And then boop, and we're gonna push it down. It's good and on there. And we're gonna try to lift it up nice and even. Ah, that looks good. That's much better. Check that out. All right, that looks good. All right, so now we're gonna pour this metallic gold all up on there. Do, 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 do. I'm not gonna be shy about it. I'm gonna get it all up in there. Okay. And then I'm going to lightly push it down. Well, probably do. Let me grab just a piece of this paper here. Let's kind of lightly, lightly push it down. Make sure it gets good contact with that glue. Okay. Now, whoa. I'll go ahead and dump all the leftover stuff into here. Cool. 
Okay, that actually worked out good. Look at how well it stuck to there. So there's my little, my little tree. All right, so now we're gonna hit it with the heat gun. This thing gets super, super hot, so we're gonna keep it on kind of low. And we're gonna just go over it. And what'll happen is it'll actually melt that metal or the, the, uh, the dust or whatever. And it makes kind of this raised embossed because that liquid that that dust forms all kind of forms a neat little puddle almost over that adhesive and makes itself really smooth and raises itself almost like a, like a bubble, you know, like those bubble stickers or whatever. Uh, here, hold on. Hell yeah. Let me let it dry off because it's, it's still hot. So it's got to cool. Yeah, check that out. All right. Though not as, as like bright as this is, whoop, like that. It kind of has a really cool raised surface. Again, let me put it up to here. Oh, uh, over here. Check that out. That looks really, really good, right? That would look sweet like on a, um, on a notebook or something. You just get a stamp, you stamp it down, you add this. That just took a couple of minutes. So that's super, super easy to do. And if you have a nicer stamp, like this one's a little bit shallow, I think for this purpose. Um, but if you have a nicer kind of raised stamp, that'd be super easy to do. Just kind of bam, add the powder, heat it up. Look at that, that is slick. All right, so those are, are a couple of ways. I just want to try one more. So. We've got this, this uh, heat foil here, um, very similar looking to the gold leaf, but the way it works is I believe it has, I don't know if it has like an adhesive on the back or something, but when you heat it up, wherever you've heated um, stays stuck and then everything else moves away, just like as if we put the adhesive on with this one. Um, normally what you do is you have like a, a foil stamp so you have, well, you know, a metal stamp or whatever, it's on a machine that gets to the right temperature. And then when you push it down, it, it melts it onto the surface uh, within that shape. I don't have any of those things. And I guess the temperature is very specific, um, but what I do have is they, they sell a little, a little pen for being able to do it. I've not tried this out yet, so let's plug her in. So they do give you just the shortest little, the shortest little wire to go along with it. It's all right, guys. I'd, I'm probably going to be working within the two inches from my plug. All right, let me get another scrap of something to test on. I got plenty of scraps. Again, so you can see it more easily. I'm going to be using. Um, a darker piece of leather, though I, I don't know. I'm sure on a smooth surface, this will probably work better. Now, I did read up before I bought this thing. This was only like 30 bucks at Michael's. Um, I did read up about maybe trying to use a wood burner, uh, which they straight up advised against. Apparently, it, it only has to be like around like 200 degrees or something for this to work, and those pens get way hotter. Um, that said, I bet if you were to put like a piece of paper over it and you're tracing through the paper, you could probably find a sweet spot somewhere in there if you have one that, that has a temperature dial on it. Um, just because you can dial those down quite low. Uh, so let me try this out though, because I've never tried it before. So I'm gonna lay it, I'm gonna lay the piece over my leather here. And I'm just gonna, let me try doing a little skill tree. I'm gonna do an S. We'll just do skill. How's that? S K My wonky little bubble letters. I It looks like it's doing something. It looks like it's melting it as I go. L All right, so now we just pull this away. Hey, so yeah, we got we got some uh, some of the gold sticking on there, right? You can see that right there. Whoa. Focus, you see that? 
so that totally works. Let me let me go ahead and use that same little little layout I just did of skills, so I don't waste any more of this stuff. And I'm gonna try to color that in, and let's see how well it'll do. Cause I don't get the impression that it does like thick very well, like line work probably. If you want to put like your signature on something, I, I see people doing that a lot. They use this to like sign a thing. Um, just fill in the S. Okay. I think we'll prove our point. We'll just fill in the S and the K here. And see how that works, rather than spend all the time and just realize that it doesn't. I'm, I'm doing it in little circles here to try to fill in as much as possible, as cleanly as possible, so I don't have any missed spots. Okay. And then I remove it. Meh. I don't know. Not bad. Not great either. All right. You see right here? It's not bad. Let me try. How about this? Let's give it a fair shake. Let's try on like a piece of cardboard instead. Oh yeah, okay. It needs to be a harder surface. That's for sure what did it. That looks way nicer. I colored in the Z and everything. That's pretty good. Um, one last attempt. Let me try it on just a little piece. I have a little scrap piece of veg tan here. Let's see, if I were to do a little design, let's say I wanted to do just a little, we're gonna do a cool little swirly design here. Have it come up, down, like so. And then we're gonna add a little leaf to it. Shoop, like so, and a little leaf on this side. Just for fun. Okay. And then we peel this away. Yeah, all right. Okay, that is dope. Look at that. I just kind of freehanded that. Check that out. That is pretty damn cool. Look at that. All right. That turned out nice. I could see using that. Um, yeah, this was definitely the wrong piece of leather to try it on. On a piece of veg tan that's a little bit more stiff, you definitely need that kind of flat, smooth surface and you need to be a little bit harder. But this would be great for just kind of decorating up a, um, like a book maybe, adding some extra detail to a piece of armor or something, you know, little pieces of detail here and there. This is a really, really easy way to do it actually. It's way faster than any of these other ways. I think it would be a little tedious if we were trying to do something as big as this. Um, I think this is still definitely the best way to do that, or even something kind of as wide as this and, and precise as that. But I'm willing to bet there are some cool workarounds you could figure out in order to make that easier to do. Like if you had something that you could heat up, you know, in shape or something like that, or control the heat a little bit better with your, like a wood burning kit or something, I think it's pretty cool because it doesn't have to get, like this doesn't get very hot at all, actually. I can, I can put my finger on it. Um, so I think, again, I think they want this temperature to be around 200 degrees in order for it to melt any more. And it looks like it just doesn't work at all. Like I saw somebody try it with a wood burner and it just didn't seem to work at all. The, uh, the, the metal just melts and it melts to the thing and it, it's no fun. But that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. So there you have it, a few pretty easy ways to actually kind of really bling up your pieces of work here. I am super jazzed with how easy these were uh, and how much fun. There are some little fiddly bits. Like again, I think if I had waited for this one, the, the bigger one to dry a little bit more, you know, the, the glue to set a little bit more, some of my details would have been preserved better. But I mean, I'm hard pressed to say it'll get a lot better. That's pretty damn good. And again, anything I want to touch up, if I wanted to, I could just go back in with my paintbrush, use the glue, and then put some more gold leaf on. So that, that to me is my star. I friggin' love that. This worked out really well too. Um, obviously painting it in, that's kind of the traditional way to do it. That worked great. The little embossing stamp, there's, if you have little stamps already for that, that's slick. That's a super quick way to get a really nice look. And it comes in so many different colors. I like that a lot. And of course, this thing, the, the little pen, oh, I love that. This stuff is really cool for that small detail. I don't think I'd use that for, for very large detail, but 
for adding a little bit of extra something or again, putting your signature on something. That's pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit rambly. I hope you got some enjoyment out of just kind of working with me and hanging out. Um, let me know down in the description if you do like stuff like this, if you like kind of these little build-alongs, uh, and I'll do more of them. Also, let me know what you think of the merch designs. Um, check out our store if you want to, uh, and, and pick some of those up. We worked hard on them, and we're super happy to give them to you. Well, you know, sell them to you. We're, we're not giving them away, though we should have some giveaways. Maybe we'll do a, do a little giveaway. Tell you what, if you've made it this far watching me rambling, um, why don't you leave hashtag merch down in the description below, and if we pick you, we'll pick at random. If we pick you, uh, you get to pick one of our pieces of merch and we'll send it to you. We'll give you a free piece of merch. How's that? All right, again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and in the meantime, keep leveling up, you. You made it to the end screen. YouTube loves it when you do that. It's a fantastic way to support this channel. Another fantastic way to support this channel is by joining these people's noble ranks. These are our Patreon members and we could not do this without them. Special thanks to our newest high-tier level Patreon members, Wendy Tyner and Paolo Fett. Again, because of all of you, we are able to buy supplies to try this stuff out, to learn and continually level up our skills. If you like what we do here and you want to support us in that way, consider joining our Patreon, link in the description below. Otherwise, you can click on one of these videos that YouTube thinks you'd like, and that would help too. You click on one of those, I'm gonna figure out what else I can put gold on.